The next job that we have to do in our game is to make the turret dumber and smarter at the same time. So right now it is really smart because it can see us directly and it's constantly focused on us which gives the turret the advantage of basically having a perfect shot at us the entire time. And that's of course not really what we want. So we need to make him dumber as in that he needs to rotate slower so if we outrun him he is uh, not aiming at us the whole time. And also we need to make him dumber in the sense of the fact that we're out of range that he cannot detect us. So otherwise the turret would be on the other side of the level and he'd still be shooting at us and of course we don't want that to happen. So to do that we need to change our script of course but now that we're going to do some deeper level scripting or coding on our turret it is a good idea not to use our turret model for now. Now you might be asking why the turret is looking great and we wanted to see it work but um, usually when you're creating your game and you're going into a somewhat more deeper level of scripting then uh, there's a lot of things about a 3D model that can give you headaches. For example, uh, the turret here has a lot of arms and the body is quite big so if we start attaching script from the inside or the origin of this turret it will most likely collide with the arms or something like that and that will make our script unstable so if we really want to know if our script is working or not it is easier to just apply your script to simple primitives and then go from there as soon as the script works attach it to your turret and then notice what the flaws of your model are and then adjusting from there so in this case let's just uh, grab the turret and move it out of the way here also uh, let me turn off the GUI because we don't need that in the scene view right now let me make the platform a little bigger so that we have some room to play so I would go with a 40-40 size and then move it over a little bit perfect that will do the trick just fine alright next what we can do is add some walls because we also want to add the ability to make sure that if there's a wall in between us and the turret he won't notice us so let's create another game object let's go and look at this from the side view make it a little bigger so I'm just uh, making a ridiculously large cube so that if we hide behind the cube we have some cover basically and then next let's add the object that will pose as our temporary curtain that's also a cube so create other and then a cube and let's move that in front of the cube here so that when we start when we launch it will notice the player but as soon as we hide behind the cube it will not okay make sure that this cube has a box collider attached to it and we'll go from there alright let's attach the turret control script on our cube also let's go to our other turret body and then get rid of the script or basically temporarily deactivate it and then we can make sure that when the script is sending us commands in our console window that we can be sure it comes from this cube instead of the turret we really need to forget about the turret right now basically and let's rename this cube temp turret now notice I'm not setting the look at target yet because I want to code this script in a way that it doesn't really need the target even if it's not there it should work okay now let's open up our turret control script let's make it a little smaller so we can see things and let's start coding from here